So what is Xerum and how do we mine it? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. Today we're going to look into the project Xerum. We're going to see a little bit of what it's about. We're going to look into how to mine it, types of wallets they have, miners you can use, different pools that they have to offer, and we'll look a little bit into the price and how much you can expect to mine in a 24-hour period. A little bit about myself, I've been in the cryptocurrency space nearly two years, do a lot of speculative coin mining like this video, compare various GPUs and miners, and I also do something called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes, I would appreciate it. All right, so let's head over to their Bitcoin talk. Just going to read a little part of it right here. As usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below this video in the description section. So don't worry about looking for any of this information. Xerum comes into existence to address a very real problem every cryptocurrency development team encounters when trying to improve the software rapidly. The problem is with making changes to existing core functionality and testing new feature improvements. Test nets are of limited utility because no one can predict and replicate the use cases of actual users. The two things which help the most with software maturity are real world use and the passage of time. With Xerum, we take the two best things in software testing and we use them as our allies to make sure Ether1 only gets changed in ways which have been tested by real people over a good amount of time. So basically this project is a side chain of Ether1. It supports Ether1. So if you go over to their website here, Xerum is the Ether1 side chain. Xerum is our rapid development chain. Whilst Ether1 is the mother chain that gets all the stable proven improvements. How Xerum works with Ether1, Xerum provides a different monetary policy as well as a different ledger for EthoFS hashes to be stored in. This allows for a more decentralized EthoFS and ecosystem as EthoFS is no longer reliant on a single chain. So it's like decentralizing decentralization, kind of. That's, that's what I gather there. And it allows them to test things they're working on on this side chain before they put it on the actual main chain, which is Ether1. I did do a video on Ether1. Here is that site right here. This is um, basically decentralized internet for everyone. They, all, they do hosting here. Immutable, easy to use, decentralized. Ethash, PAL, no ICO, no pre-mine. Application specific. Master nodes and in decentralized hosting and dApps. So I did a video on this. It's been like a year ago now. I think I, think I did a video last August. Should be popping up if you want to check that out. A how to mine video slash review video on Ether1. So Xerum here is basically just going to be helping Ether1 out. And if we scroll down and look at the team. A lot of these guys that are on his team are also on the Ether1 team. All right, so if we scroll down here and look at their media official team. So we've got James O'Reilly right there. And there's James O'Reilly right there. Then we've got Ethan Van. I don't know how to say that last name, but there he is right there. There's Primate, Treehouses over there, and a couple of these others. They're both working on, they're all working on both projects. They all have a vested interest in seeing both projects going forward and to be successful. So that's Xerum basically in a nutshell. So now let's get into how to mine it. There's a little link here for wallets. They have the web wallet, desktop, iOS, Android, MetaMask. I'm going to do the web wallet today, but if you want the desktop wallet, you can click this link right there. And there's this little guide installing the Zero Desktop Wallet on Windows. I've, I've gone over it, looked it over. It's really step-by-step, -step, easy to use. But I don't have a lot of storage space on my rig, so I went with the Web Wallet right here. So, again, these links will be down below. So, you're going to enter a password. I'm not really going to use this, so I'm putting anything in right now. Just click Create Wallet. 
you're going to want to download your key store file and just make sure you down that put it in the safe face on your computer so there we go i downloaded it click i understand here is your private key again i'm not using this so it's not that big of a deal just click print paper wallet now what i usually do is i'll click save it as a pdf on my computer so i'll have this right there but there is going to be your mining address right there so you're going to want to copy that and you're going to need that for the miner so you just click print paper wallet save your address and then here we are then you can unlock it with the json file that you just downloaded which is right there so that's the wallet in a nutshell we got the wallet address so now we need a miners i've got this running on my amd rig so for amd i'm using phoenix 4.5 c and that's mainly what i've been using for my ethereum classic miner so you just click right here on the mega nz and then you would just scroll down here windows zip is what i'm using just double click on that you would download it to your computer and i have that running on my amd rig right now so once you download it i unzipped it put it in its own folder called phoenix miner 4.5c Zerum. so you go into here and go into here and i created its own run.bat file which is right here again that will be down below so don't worry about looking for that and you're just going to have to edit whatever pool you want, which is, you can leave that in there. The watt pool is what I'm using right now, trying to spread the hash rate. And you're going to want to change your actual wallet address, which we just got from the wallet. And your eWorker, which is AMD rig right there. You can name it whatever you want, or you can just leave it blank. It's not really a big deal, but I like naming my worker so I can see it on the pool. So when that's, once that's done, you're just going to click File, Save As. Once you copy that bat file from down below, you just put it into a notepad file and then you're going to do save as, I'll just put it run one for the purposes of this video. Make sure it's a .bat though and click save. So let me close that. There's the file we just created, run one.bat. Here's the miner running. Let me go ahead and shut that down. So now all you got to do is double click on the file we just created and we are away and mining so the pool like i said i'm using watt pool right here you would just click on account search put your wallet address in right there and just click enter and there it'll pop up and you just click that little graph right there and it'll take you over to here and show your hash rate how much you've been paid so i've been paid 388 in the last 24 hours i've been mining in a couple hours now and i'm due 342 right now It'll show you hash rates, AMD rig, 110 mega hash, not doing too bad. Real quick guys, before this video, have you heard of Xerum or Ether1, either of them? Let me know down below with a simple yes or no. Always interested to know what your guys' opinions are and thoughts on these things. So, have you heard about it? Yes or no? Type it real quick down below and let's move on. So, if you have an NVIDIA miner here is the claymore latest version 15.0 again you would just click on mega.nz right here and download the miner again that bad file will be down below as well so don't worry about looking for that if you don't like watt pool you can find another pool which is right here this will be down below as well co-mining io we mine pool i'm on a watt pool here trying to spread the mega hash across there's not very much hash rate on this right now 2.8 giga hash that's not a lot at all for a um, f hash type base coin and two blocks last 100 is on oh, now it's up to four 161 mega hash i'm pretty much most of that on the watt pool right now myself but again this list will be down below so you can go ahead and check that out okay so it's not an exchange yet as far as i know i couldn't find it i'm pretty sure it's not so i went over to coin market cap and i pulled up all the actual coins they have on there and i went by circulating supply i asked over on the discord roughly what the supply is going to be and they said right now it's about 65 million circulating supply but that will continue to go up over time and if we go over to their actual website and if we scroll all the way down you can see circulating supply over five years so block 10 block 1 million should have about 24 million supply 
2 million, 46, and so on and so forth. So it looks like at block 10 million, we'll have a roughly 200 million coin supply. Should be a couple years in the future. So I went by the coin supply for roughly the estimated coin supply now. And I'm going to go with a rough estimate of what uh, Titcoin, I guess that's what it's called, Titcoin. And I'm guessing Zerum is going to come out roughly right around in this area as far as dollar value. So that's 0 .000813. When it first comes out, maybe hits an exchange, it'd probably be a little bit lower than that. But that's a good estimate. So let's go over to and see how much we can actually mine. So here I am on miner stat, zero, Zerum coin. Making about 117 mega ash now, 500 watt power. 1% pool fee, electricity cost, you click calculate. So 7,282 I would be actually bringing in a day currently. And this price is 0 0.0008. Don't know. Again, this is just an estimation. If it actually gets to that point, 0 0.0008 times 7,282, $5.82 a day. That would be really nice in this current market. Although I don't think it's going to be quite that high. Probably about a quarter of that I would be making a day. Which would be more on, on par. So maybe the price, 813. Maybe 0 0.0002 when it actually comes out. Maybe. But who knows, we'll see when it hits an actual exchange. You never know with these things. So anyways... That's a pretty close estimate of how much you can actually mine in a day. Now, as far as how much that will be, as far as real world value, anywhere from two to five dollars, you never know. But like I said, when it hits an exchange, I guess we'll find out. All right, so that is going to be it on Zerum, guys. Any questions or comments, put them down below as usual. If you want to check out that Ether One How to Mine video, that should be popping up here in a second. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.